Hi, I'm Grace Garland. I'm a professional singer, songwriter, and actress, and I am one of the volunteer entertainers for Life Beat Hearts and Voices. We're the people that go and entertain for the people living with AIDS and HIV at the various facilities in New York City and other states too. There's nothing like that moment when you leave your house and you're thinking, it's cold, it's raining, who cares if I get on the subway, if I get dressed, or I wear my cute shoes. And then you wrap yourself up and you leave the train station and you're fighting the wind and you walk into Rivington House and someone there says, I told you she would make it, I told you she would make it, and it's one of the residents. And you feel not just important, you feel valuable. And you know that you've made them feel very valuable because everybody wants to be special. And that's what performing for Hearts and Voices does for me. It makes me feel special, but it also allows me to make someone feel special that's living in a facility and they don't feel well and they're getting medication and they're in pain and sometimes all you can bring is a song and a smile to make them feel better. I have been a Hearts and Voices performer for approximately 15 years, give or take some, yeah, because of the Off-Broadway show and um, I'm there every year, you know, as much as I can do it if I'm not on tour. And that's the great thing, when you come back from the tour, you know, when you're performing around the world or whatever, the residents all want to know about it. They want to hear, they want to see pictures, they want to share their life stories. They want to tell you that they got engaged or that their kids had kids, you know, that their grandparents or... But then there are times that are sad. And that's why it's important as a performer that you listen to the person that has a favorite song. You know how that song makes you feel good or sad or reminds you of a special moment in your life? People living with HIV AIDS have special memories that they want recognized. And so the fact that there's this one guy that just loves the song Fever and he comes down with his cane and stands in the corner and waits, leaned against the wall till I do Fever. And then I come over and ask him to sing with me and he's always grand and fabulous. And you can see him light up and to look into everyone's eyes, you, you really recognize the importance of seeing someone looking in their eyes, that sometimes they're in such pain and then you look straight into their eyes and that smile and they tell you, you know, usually I don't like music, but this made me feel good. I forgot that I was sick. And that's the best medicine, making someone forget that they're sick, forget that they're in pain. And that's why I do it. There's one story, another guy that had a favorite song, Cry Me a River, and he always requested Cry Me a River. And that's the other thing. Every song doesn't have to be a happy, jolly, jolly song. It's just songs that you love. And he had gone blind, but I didn't know it and he was sitting in his wheelchair and I went over to him, you know, to sing Cry Me a River and, you know, gave him the microphone so he could sing along too. And afterwards I was told that he didn't want you to know that he'd gone blind because he didn't want to hurt your feelings. He didn't want to hurt my feelings. When you're a Life Beat Hearts and Voices performer, you walk in, they just love you because you're you and that you're there loving them back. It's important to keep all of the programs for Life Beat. But, of course, as a singer-songwriter, the music part of it is most important because I don't know what I would do without music in my life, just generally speaking. <laughs> we all have a theme song that goes through our life and when you perform for Hearts and Voices, the theme song is love and smiles and hugs and giving and if if you don't give back then you're missing something in your own life you're missing the moment to feel good in a way that maybe no one sees you know so you give a dollar or you give a thousand dollars 
What happens is that the program can keep going. Thank you for supporting Life Beats Hearts and Voices Indiegogo program. Please share it with your friends and family.